Azure Front Door and Azure Application Gateway are both valuable services that can be used in front of Azure API management, but they serve different purposes and have distinct use cases. Azure Application Gateway is regional layer 7 load balancing, primarily designed for load balancing within a single region, meaning it is well suited for regional API deployment. It distributes traffic within virtual network across virtual machines or zonal or zone redundant service endpoints within a region. Can we extend this to another region? As long as there is connectivity, then yes, you can have backend host in multiple regions with a single application gateway. But this won't be effective and not recommended. It is suitable for applications that do not require global distribution but need efficient regional load balancing. If you are looking for global distribution, then Azure Friend Door is the right choice. Azure Friend Door distributes traffic across multiple regions for high availability and low latency. Use Azure Friend Door when you need to serve APIs to users across multiple continents with low latency. It is suitable for applications needing global reach and performance optimization. Frendor operates at the edge of Microsoft's global network, providing global load balancing across multiple regions. It can route traffic to the nearest healthy backend, enabling multi-region failover. In this video, we will look into how to configure Azure Frendor in front of Azure API management. We will also look into how to restrict Azure API management incoming traffic so it can only accept the traffic from Azure Front Door and reject everything else. Hi, this is Shri. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm a Microsoft MVP and I do blogging and make videos on .NET and Azure. If you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button and help me reach the content to a wider group. Let's get started now. One of the prerequisites with Azure API Management Instance is that it has to be publicly reachable. If there is no network setting, by default, the API Management Instance is publicly reachable. But if we have an API Management Instance which is network injected, it must be deployed in an external VNet so it can be publicly accessible. And obviously, the VNet injection is supported only in the developer and premium service tiers. I have already created an API management instance which is nFacto and I have created this instance in developer tier and this API management instance is non-vnet injected so it can be directly reachable over the public internet. If you want to configure Azure Front Door in front of the API management instance as we discussed before it has to be either non-vnet injected or it has to be deployed in an external mode if you want to deploy inside a virtual network. For the demo purpose, I simply used a non-VNet injected API management instance, but this should not make any big difference in terms of how you configure front door in front of your API management instance. I have also added a sample API for testing purpose. This API simply returns a static JSON response. If I simply hit this endpoint via Postman, it will return a static JSON response as this. Now let's deploy Azure Front Door in front of this API management instance and either click on the resource. All we are looking for is Azure Front Door CDN profiles. This is what we need. You can go to the create resource and look for it from there or you can directly search from here. As you have it readily available here, I'm going to just simply click on this and create a new instance. It will be Azure Front Door and a quick create should do. Continue to create a Front Door. In the Front Door profile, create the resource group under which you want this Front Door to be created. And I want this to be in Australia East region. By default, it will take the region of your resource group. And the name would be um, Infacto Test. I'm for demo purpose, standard tier is OK. And the endpoint name is nFacto endpoint. This will be our endpoint, which represents backend. The origin type is, in a way, type of your backend. In our case, it is API management instance. If you wanting to have your backend as app service, you can select app service and static web app and different things here. Even application gateway can act as a backend as well. But in our case, it will be API management instance. Let's select API management instance. Now it should bring up all 
available api management instance under this subscription we have already this instance so we are configuring front door in front of this one let's select that and based on your requirement if you want you can enable caching the caching is based on the cacheable http method such as get operation will be cached based on the query parameters and stuff like that i'm not going to details of that for this demo purpose i'm just going to leave it as uh, none and i'm not using any waf policy not deploying waf with this front door then we can continue to next i'm not adding any tags we can go ahead and create this okay the creation has kicked off it will take for a while we have our friend door instance ready under settings if you go to friend door manager you can see the endpoint that has been created for our api management so this is the endpoint here um, each endpoint represents your backend pool the set of the backend pool the backend pool here in a way represented as origin type and they were categorized as origin group each origin group will be associated with a route we will look into that if you see here for this endpoint a default origin group has already been created and a default route has already been created the reason for this is if you remember when we in the initial when we try to create azure friend door we chose quick create the quick create would automatically create a default origin type and default route for us if you want to define the origin types and if you want to define the route while creation you can definitely do this option and do all of that settings but if we go back here a default origin group has already been created for us and if you click on this you will see our default origin group just click on this one so our origin group is of type api management and you can add as many origins as you want in our case this n factor api management instance is deployed in australia east region you can have another region another api management instance added here and which could be deployed probably in australia central or australia southeast as a different region or altogether a region somewhere not in australia so that way whenever there is a failure in one region the friend door would automatically route the traffic to the healthy backend on our origin group of course it has enabled health probes but no health point has been set up for api management instance we can simply use this predefined path as a health probe and it would be an https and the probe method will be get and so interval you know you can keep 30 seconds one minute i'm keeping it as a 30 seconds for every 30 seconds it will do a probe and see if the backend is healthy or not just click on update this setting will be applied to all the api management instances within this origin group for example if you want to have um a same friend door used for another backend type which is of app service you can obviously have a shared friend door which can serve the purpose of multiple different endpoints so the origin group has been updated now this origin group will be associated with a default route to decide the routing mechanism between different backends let's um, edit that since it has created a default route let's see if we can edit that just click on that one it will take you to the default route that has been configured as part of the initial setting so all the patterns that are matching this path would be routed to the backend and accepted protocol i want to keep only https yes redirect all the traffic to use https then leave the origin path and forwarding protocol is https only this minimum setting would route all the request to our api management backend simply click on update okay the minimum setting has been completed now simply this will be our endpoint azure friend or endpoint you can use this endpoint to reach to our api management take this endpoint url go to the postman keep the url path but replace the base url and just make sure yep we have the header required header there and hit a send we got the same response from our api management backend the request from the friend door is routed to the api management backend and of course for this endpoint we can obviously configure a custom domain now that we are able to reach our api management instance from azure friend door now we can restrict incoming traffic only from azure friend door we can achieve this through the policies since our api management instance is not injected inside a vnet we can achieve this one through policies to do that what we can do is we can apply a policy 
to check the header. What does that mean is every request that is originated from the front door would carry a specific header along with the front door ID. We're going to check to see if the front door ID matches to that ID. If yes, then we allow the request. If not, we'll simply deny the request. Simply go to all operation inbound policy and you have the check header for X Azure FDD ID. You're going to check for this ID. Um, if you go to our friend door, Azure friend door on the overview, we're going to have the friend door ID. This is our friend door ID. Simply copy that and go here and place this value here. For all the APIs, we're going to check and see if it carries the specific header with this value. If yes, we'll allow the traffic. If not, we'll simply deny it. Click on save and go to our postman and hit send. No invalid or missing key or whatever, right? Unauthorized. Now, if you go to our friend door, hit send it will still serve the traffic because the friend door would send you that specific header and that value this is one on top of it we can also add ip filtering across all the apis or products or whatever right so across all apis we can add additional ip filtering to allow the traffic only from the friend door to find out azure friend door backend ips you can go to this specific url where it will give you the azure ip ranges and the service tags you simply download this one it will give you a big json file like this and once you got this json file simply search for azure friend door we don't want the front end we are after back end just simply scroll down you should be able to see friend door okay friend door dot back end this is what we want we want to whitelist all of these ips in our api management policies to allow the traffic only from these ips and everything else will be rejected this way we can restrict incoming traffic of azure api management only from friend door i hope this will give you a high level overview of what is azure friend door how do we configure azure friend door in front of azure api management how does this everything work together i hope this is helpful if you like the content please hit like subscribe and share and help me reach the content to your wider group i will catch you in the next video until then this is Shri signing off thank you